Here are some benefits of becoming an international student in Canada. Apart from having an internationally recognized qualification, you can also earn part-time during study and full-time during semestral break and holidays. Your partner can work full-time during your study. You may apply for post-graduation work permit after study and stay in Canada with your family. You may include your kids in the application and they can study for free in public schools. As an international student, you can gain extra points for your PR application. You and your partner may qualify for permanent residence application during your stay in Canada. Enjoy the fantastic climate and quality of life in Canada. Know if you are eligible to immigrate. Message us now. Here are some benefits of being a permanent resident in Canada. As a permanent resident you get to work, study or do business inside Canada. Get access to their world-class healthcare. Free education for children up to 18 years old and a highly subsidized secondary education. They also have Canadian child tax benefits for you to get support to the government for raising your children. Unemployment insurance for up to 65% social security, and age pension for your retirement. As a permanent resident, you can also get to sponsor your family as a temporary or a permanent resident. And of course, you have the luxury of traveling to and from Canada from the date of your visa has been granted. As a permanent resident, experience and explore the beauty of Canada. You are eligible to apply for citizenship and hold one of the strongest passport in the world. Be one of our successful clients. Message us today. Hi, my name is Mark, one of the university consultants of the Visa Center International. And can you tell us about your experience with the process with Ms. Jensen? My experience with Visa Center was completely outstanding. And Ms. Jensen, she helped me throughout my process and uh, student visa. And I'm really happy and honestly, I have no words how to thank her. Uh, what is your message, sir, to those who want to apply for an international visa? Uh, so, message or let's say the suggestion that the student visa is the best option and the quickest option uh, for them. Don't lose your uh, time or uh, don't wait for anything that some, something will happen. Because uh, for a student visa, the best part is you will learn something also. You are spending money to learn something. And plus, it's a, it's a perfect pathway to, to get the PR. Plus, you will learn something because uh, mostly in Canada, even if you are a doctor, when you go to Canada, you will you will again have to do some courses for, uh, for the medical. So it's the best pathway. For me, it's the best, best, best and the quickest part. part. So I, it's highly recommended to go as a so once again, uh, congratulations to you. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Hello everyone! By the way, my name is Janelle, one of the Immigration Consultant of Visa Center International. And today, kasama po natin ngayon si Ms. Michelle. Hi! Hello po, one of our approved clients in Student Visa Application in Canada. Congratulations po, ma'am! By the way, ma'am, saan niyo po pala nakita or nalaman si Visa Center International? Actually, matagal ko nang gustong mag-Canada, pero hindi ko alam kung paano siya umpisahan. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, syempre, since Facebook, talagang masyadong influence ang Facebook, So, nag-browse ako ng mga agency na, ka, na pwedeng tumulong sa akin. So, nakita ko yung visa center. So, ayun, nakita ko na marami kayong reviews, positive reviews. So, ginrab ko na yung opportunity na, na i-take ang visa center. So, naging smooth naman po yung transactions na sa yeah, amin, actually, diba? Yeah, super smooth siya. <laughs> Napaka, ano lang siya, talagang chill lang. <laughs> so, ayun, ma'am, kumusta naman po yung process ng application mo with Sir Ralph? Yeah, with Sir Ralph, actually, kung hindi ko nakausap si Sir Ralph, hindi ko may isip na i-take yung hotel and resort management. Kasi mm -hmm. since ngayon, nasa document controller ako, ang gusto ko sana is business admin na program. Mm -hmm. Tapos nung tinanong niya ako na, saan ko nakikita yung self ko in a long term? 
So, ayun, naisip ko na since tourism graduate ako, dun ko na ano na parang, ay oo nga, parang kailangan sa hospitality pa din ako. Mm-hmm. So, at least meron kang mga options ba? Nagbigay sa'yo si Sir Ralph na mga options kung ano yung iti-take mo doon, di ba? Yes po, yes. So, ayun, ano naman yung magiging ano mo, ma? Magiging message mo sa mga kababayan natin na gustong mag-aral in Canada mm-hmm. din? So, ako, nandito ako sa Dubai for seven years. And hindi ko makita yung self ko na parang ganito na lang ako forever. So, kayo, i-grab niyo yung opportunity na maging student sa Canada kasi napakagandang opportunity to. So, itong Visa Center, napaka, napakasarap makipag-coordinate uh, sa kanila. Yung process niya magiging smooth. So, matutulungan na talaga kayo. Ang ganda naman pakinggan nun, ma'am. Once thank again, you. congratulations po. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. Kung saan pa man po kayo naroroon ngayon, magandang hapon po, magandang umaga at magandang tanghali. Ako po si Janine Rico, one of the VCI hosts for today's uh, Wednesday edition Facebook Live ng Visa Center International. So for today, syempre may mga topic tayo at syempre may mga special guests. But for now, Uh, I wanted to share to you, of course, my one of my co-hosts here in Vis- Visa Center International. Ma'am Apple, nandiyan ka ba, madam? Ayan. <laughs> Ayan, hello po, madam Apple. Good afternoon ba dyan or good morning? Good morning pa lang. Ah, good morning pa lang. Ayan. <laughs> so sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, ako po dito nasa Pilipinas at si Ma'am Apple naman po ay nasa Dubai. So hello yes. po sa mga OFW natin na nagtatrabaho dyan sa Middle East, lalong-lalo na sa Dubai. Welcome back sa FB Live. Medyo yes, matagal. Oh, medyo natagalan, no? Kasi medyo marami tayo. <laughs> yes, medyo madami tayong uh, ginawa ng no, mga nakarang araw. Pero ngayon, yung mapapangako na po namin na every week meron na tayong Facebook Live para naman po uh, mapakilala din namin sa inyo yung mga affiliated school natin. And for today, syempre, ano nga ba ang topic natin today, Ma'am Apple? Yeah, ano bang country all- yan? Ayan, it's all about us um uh, Australia today. It's all about <laughs> Canada kasi last time nag Australia tayo. So ano yung mga updates? May mga updates ngayon si Canada. So later on po ma um matatakel natin yon or ma-discuss natin. And syempre, yung isa sa ating um affiliated school makakasama natin yung mm-hmm. kanilang representative. Yes, of course. Syempre alam naman natin, 'di ba? Ang Canada is one of the best country din. At marami din naman talagang pumupunta diyan ng mga Pilipino at lalong-lalo na sinasama nila ang kanilang pamilya. Yan malalaman natin lahat ng mga benefits na makukuha natin kapag tayo ay nagpunta or ano nga ba ang ECS pala, ang ECS way or pathway para maka-enter ka ng Canada, 'di ba? Pero bago ang lahat ma mat- tingnan muna natin yung mga comments, madam. Ayun, marami marami siguro nakami sa atin. Ayan. Tingnan natin ito. Ano yung yes? <laughs> si Madam, Madam Gigi. Madam Gigi, yes. What's yes? Oh, yes. No? We're live. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, we're live. Oh, okay. Meron din naman tayong yeah. Ano ba yan? Yeah, naman yung isa. Anyway, so meron tayong din, ayan, kung makikita nyo, di ba, iba-ibang lahi po. Kasi hindi lang naman din Pilipino ang ina-accommodate natin. So kahit na sinong Uh, sino pa yan, uh, like kung ano bang uh, nationality niya. Pwedeng Indian, pwedeng Pakistani, pwede naman. Pero syempre, ang number one natin na uh, tinutulungan din, syempre, is yung mga Filipino. Yung mga aspiring, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Yung talagang nagpa-plano na pumunta ng Canada, ganyan. Yung matagal na nang nag-iisip na gusto talaga nila yung pumunta ng Canada. Paano nga ba natin sila matutulungan? Anyway, so standby lang po kayo dyan dahil syempre meron tayong mga guest, meron tayong guest speaker and of course meron din tayong guest affiliated Canadian institution, one of the best institution in Canada. Ano nga ba yung mga programs nila? Ano ba yung benefits nila pag Pilipino? May IELTS ba yan? Syempre tayo, di ba? Pag IELTS, ah, IELTS. <laughs> pero usually, pero magagaling naman talaga tayo magdating sa English. Wala naman talaga makakatalo pagdating sa ating mga Pilipino sa English. No? Anyway, meron pa tayo dito ang ating Mother of Canada. Yes. SB Canada. Hello, Ma'am Jensen. 
Mama Chup Chup. <laughs> Shout out sa'yo, Ma- Mami, Mami Jensen. Ayan, Mama, Mami ng Canada. Ayan. And then, meron din tayong nag-comment dito. Madam, could you please speak in English? Oh my Ako, goodness. Ako, ikaw na dyan. <laughs> okay, um, hello, Sir Muhammad Awais. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Yes, I die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I know. just stand by there, Sir Muhammad. Uh, we will be back for a few minutes. We will be showing you some ads or commercial ads from which our school or which institution is our guest. Okay, uh, just stand by and let's just give a little minute to show you. Yes, okay. introduction. Thank you. So ayan, i um, ano na natin, introduce na natin ang school kasi ready yeah. excited na rin akong malaman. Ikaw din ba excited ka na rin? Opo naman, ma'am. Actually, matagal ko nang gusto siyang makita. Hindi lang kami nagkikita talaga. Hindi <laughs> na nagkakasok yung schedule yeah. namin, no? Okay. No, 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 kasi rin, no. <laughs> oh, oh, kasi na po, syempre, nandito ako sa Pampanga ni Reysia, which is si, yung ating guest speaker, in, siya, nasa Manila siya, so hindi nagkakasalubong yung aming schedule. Pero ang ganda-ganda ng school na to, Ma'am Apple, uh, actually, this is one of uh, the best and actually, laging tinatanong ng student kung affiliated school ba natin sila. Oh, so, okay. ano nga ba yan, ha? Mga regional areas sila, di ba? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. Province na yan. Pinakamaganda talaga. So, ano nga ba yung school na yan, madam? I-splook na natin yung school na yan kung ano nga ba yung school na yan. Ang school na to is... <laughs> Kala mo, dan-dan-dan-dan. <laughs> so, ayan, uh, papanoorin po muna natin yung mga ano nila, campuses, different campuses. So, hindi lang isang campus ang meron sila. So, they have many at I think lima, anim, tatlo. Mm-hmm. So, so, check natin. Lang pa, oh. <laughs> so, check natin siya. So, stand by guys and um, konting ano na, uh, introduction lang. Yes. The city of Prince Rupert is located on the northwest coast of British Columbia. About 13,000 people call Prince Rupert home. The Coast Mountain College campus in Prince Rupert is in the heart of the downtown business district. This campus is best known for its unique applied coastal ecology program, but you can take a range of arts, science, math, and health courses here too. The campus is only a few minutes walk from the shops and restaurants in the historic Cow Bay Marina. Here there are popular seafood restaurants, cafes, and locally owned boutiques and gift shops. Prince Rupert plays a key role in the global supply chain. It is the deepest natural harbor in North America, and it's the closest port to Asia on this side of the Pacific. Prince Rupert also has an active hospitality and tourism industry. The Atlan Terminal hosts thousands of cruise ship visitors every year. There are hiking trails through the city such as McClymont Park, which is easily accessible from downtown. Across the road from this trail system is the Leicester Center for the Arts and Jim Sacconi Civic Center for Sports and Recreation. Prince Rupert is a beautiful community full of possibilities. For more information about studying in Prince Rupert, visit our website, coastmountaincollege.com.
Let's go around Coast Mountain College Smithers Campus. Na-refresh ka ba? <laughs> ano ba? Back! Ayan. No? So, alam niyo na ako ano yung school. This is Cost Mountain College. Ayan. Maraming mga students or maraming mga Filipino. Siyempre, ang mga nakakakilala sa Cost Mountain College. Kilala siya talaga dito sa Philippines. Lalo na sa mga may mga kamag-anak dyan sa Canada. So, actually... Um, ano nga ba yung mga benefits, Ma'am Apple? Yung mga sample benefits lang ng kapag ano, pag Canadian ano ka, uh, student. Ayan. Anong Canadian, uh, Canadian student? Student, okay. yeah. Canadian, <laughs> student ano, Canadian design. Student. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Again, so Canadian yes. citizenship. Ang um, isa sa ano, benefits ng student visa kasi sa Canada, pwede mong isama ang family. Good for family kasi ang student visa. ba? Diba? And yes. syempre, lalo na may mga anak. So, free education kasi sila. Later on, madidiscuss yan ng ating, syempre, nag-iisang pros- um, consultant na yes. VCA or Visa Center International. So, standby lang kayo. And ngayon muna, i-discuss natin ang, ano nga ba? ang Cost Mountain College. Ayan. Ano yung mga courses nila? Ayan. Ano yung mga benefits kung doon ka mismo sa school nila mag-enroll to study? So, And the- uh, kayo muna niyan, di ba, Miss Janine? Correct. Uh, <laughs> kaya mas maganda po, syempre, na itag nyo na yung mga family nyo, friends, mm-hmm. relatives, at kung sino pa man po yung kakilala nyo na nagbabalak na pumunta ng Canada, lalo na sa mga Uh, pamilya, no? yung mga family na talagang gusto pumunta ng Canada. Ito na po kasi yung pinaka-fastest fastest and easiest way to enter Canada, lalo na pagdating sa pamilya. Kaya ano pang hinintay niyo mga madam and sir, i-share niyo na po yung ating live kung saan pa man po kayo nanonood sa Facebook, sa LinkedIn, sa YouTube at kung saan page po kayo nanonood ngayon, pwedeng pwede niyo na po yan i-share, itag sa inyong mga family and friends or relatives. Okay, so wag na natin itong patagalin, Ma'am Apple. No? Introduce na natin, yes, ang ating guest speaker na mag-represent ng napakagandang school na Cost Mountain College. Please welcome Miss Anna Popong, the Country Manager of Cost Mountain College. Hello! Good Hello. evening, good Hello, Miss Anna! Ayan, nakita rin. Sa ating mga viewers ng uh, Visa Center International. Hello po sa inyo. Ayan, kamusta ka naman, Ma'am Anna? Uh, rainy, rainy uh, afternoon here in Manila. Yes. Actually, it's been raining since last week, no? Um, so, I think it's the rainy season na talaga. Ayan. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, actually, right, before... So, yeah. Yeah, before you start your presentation, can you tell us more about the Cost Mountain College and lalo na dun sa mga Canadian student na, na mga Filipino na nag-aaral dyan sa Cost Mountain? Kamusta sila ngayon, ma'am? Kasi syempre, di ba, madali kasi tayong, ano eh, yung pupunta tayo dun, okay lang, di ba, may kaya naman. Pero pagdating dun ba, kamusta naman na nandun na tayo? Kayang-kaya ba kaagad makakuha ng trabaho? So stable naman ba sila? Ganyan. So, kwentuhan mo kami ng konti lang, ma'am. Uh, the Northwest region, it's an emer- emerging economy. And um, marami na tayo, the, the Filipino community is growing. Mm-hmm. And uh, later on sa slides natin, we'll be able to talk more about um, about the region itself and the endless possibilities no, for our Filipino specifically for our Filipino students. Mm-hmm. Again, so actually, Nishong, share muna tayo and gusto ko lang din basahin yung ating comment section. Ayan, tingnan natin to. Si, 
Sir Jeff, ayan, we miss Visa Center International Facebook Live, ayan. Ako din po, na-miss ko rin pong magdadradal dito sa harapan, ano, at syempre, uh, na-miss ko din mag-invite ng ating mga affiliated schools, ayan, mga guest speaker, kasi syempre, hindi naman din po pwede na tayo lang na nakakaalam. Kailangan natin ipaalam sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin, lalong-lalo na sa mga OFW na nandyan sa mga kanilang mga uh, pinagkakatra pinagkakatrabawan na bansa. So, hello po, good evening, good morning, and good afternoon po sa inyo. So, manood lang po kayo, baka sakali, no, magkaroon kayo ng interest na pumunta ng Canada. At lalong-lalo na kung, siyempre, Uh, mas maganda at fastiest way ito ang student isa. Anyway, so hindi na natin patatagalin ito habang ma'am Ana, if ever, baka pwede nyo na pong i-present ang inyong right. presentation. Yes, I am more than happy to uh, present. Maraming nag-watch natin from iba't ibang lugar. Sobrang dami nating ano ngayon, viewers. And yeah. Sir Winston. <laughs> Sir Winston Gassi watching from Bahrain. Hello, Sir Winston. How are you there? Good afternoon. Good evening. Konong oras pa man dyan? Hello po. Please share our live to your friends and relatives and to your Facebook account. And so that more of a, a aspiring families or students can watch our live. And also we have here Sir Manolito Domingo watching from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hello po, Sir Manolito. Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. Eh, so malapit lang nyo, malapit lang nyo sa inyo. So, from Riyadh, ayan, dati nandyan yung papa ko. So, hello po, papa sa langit. Five hours kasi ang ano, ang... Alright, can you see my screen? Ah, let me check, Sir Anna. Ay, ma'am. Ayan. Ayan na na ba? Ready. Yes. Ready, ready, ready na. Alright. So, um, thank you so much, Visa Center International, for always no, inviting Coast Mountain College um, to your webinar. So, today, we'll be um, presenting you Coast Mountain College or CMTN. So, if you notice, ang background natin, no? Um, very uh, nature like no, uh, we've, it's surrounded with mountains, lakes, and rivers. So, we will get to know more about the Northwest region in the next few slides. So, I won't be playing this part, but please do visit our web, our YouTube channel, Coast Mountain College, to know more about um, the videos about our programs. Also, yung mga testimonies ng ating mga Filipino students. Okay, so where are we located? We are located in British Columbia, okay, or BC. So if you see here in the screen, the regions are in number. Number two is Lower Mainland, that is Vancouver. So we are not located in Vancouver. We are located in number six, which is the Skeena region. So from Vancouver Airport, para lang siyang Manila, Cebu, no? You take an hour and a half flight going to our campuses. So we have three campuses that are accepting international students. We have campuses in the city of Prince Rupert, which is by the coast, Terrace, which is the main city, and then Smithers. So you can, pwede naman siya mag, ano, no, by land road trip. But it will take 15 hours. So ngayon, summer ngayon, it's a perfect time no, to um, to uh, go on a, on a road trip um, para makita niyo yung mga sceneries no, going to the Northwest region. Now, the good thing about living in the Northwest region is that you get to experience a balanced weather. Not so cold, not so warm. Okay, So the mildest temperature pag pag winter around negative 5 to negative 10 no so very minimal lang parang ano lang yan parang uh, mas mataas lang ng uh, three times sa bagyo <laughs> ganun lang so it's not like parang alberta no or other regions sa talaga nagdi negative 25 negative 30 40 ganyan okay so here's like some photos during winter um currently um, our fall intake, it will be open this coming uh, September. 
Okay? Uh, sorry, yeah. The fall intake will be in September and application will be opening this coming October. All right, and summer ngayon. And so our um, May 2024 intake and January 2024 intake um, applications for those intakes are still open. Yan. All right, so here is the top view shot of the city of Terrace. So if you notice, no, para siyang bagyo, no? Um, so if you love nature, and um, did you know that the population of Terrace is just about 15,000, one five lang po, no? 15,000. So just imagine the land area, no? Um, napakalaki. That means, no, maraming job opportunities po sa region, but kulang ang tao. No? So we really need people to um, fill, out, fill up our jobs. No? So, um, and if you are on a budget and you want to fulfill your Canadian dream and the best way, the fastest way to go to Canada is through student pathway and you bring your families with you, you want to start a new beginning in Canada, then Coast Mountain College is something that is an option for you. Okay? So if you love outdoor adventure, if you want a province feels, ayan. So um, Coast Mountain College and Northwest region is something that can be considered. Okay, so here is our terrace campus. So during September intake, okay, or fall intake, this is where our students will be studying. So terrace campus, which is the main campus. So I won't be playing this part. Again, do visit our YouTube channel, Coast Mountain College, for our campus tour. Prince Rupert campus, man. So currently, our January 2024 intake uh, applications are still open for our business program. And the population of the city of Prince Rupert is just about 10 to 12,000. No? So again, we need people for 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 for, for the jobs no? um, that uh, we have in Prince Rupert. Actually, lahat naman ng, ng um, cities ng Northwest region, talagang we need people talaga. No? Um, but the Filipino community is already growing in in these um, cities, so hindi rin kayo mga homesick. This is the Mount Smithers campus, the smallest uh, campus ng Coast Mountain College. So pag May intake, this is where they'll be studying. Population of this city is about 7,000 pa lang. Okay? But surprisingly, uh, napakadami na ng Pinoy, no? Um, na, na, na um, living and working here in Smithers. So this is just uh, photos. Um, or it, actually, this was taken September 2021 orientation week. And did you know that this bunch of um, students, no, itong, itong batch na to, they have completed their two-year programs and graduated last June 12th. So here are the programs that we are offering. Um, if you notice, very limited ang aming programs. So we have post-degree, university certificates, and diplomas. Why this limited? Because this, uh, these are the programs um, that our region needs. So we want to make sure talaga that there's job opportunities for our um, graduated graduating students or, or, or students who have completed their programs at Coast Mountain College. Okay, so we have Applied Coastal Ecology. Ang aming bestseller is our business program. So we have a two-year diploma with concentration. We have the post degree, which is the most sought after talaga, no? This is, ito yung pinaka uh, uh, in demand talaga ni Coast Mountain College the post-degree diploma in business, and most of our Filipino students, ito talaga yung tinitake nila. Uh, mainly because this is the lowest tuition fee we offer. No, 12800 per year, the tuition fee for uh, the post-degree diploma in business. So we accept a bachelor's degree holder only. And very excited kasi we will be launching our newest program, 
post-degree diploma in professional accounting. Okay, so those na merong accounting background or commerce or kahit hindi, no, basta interested um, to shift their career to professional accounting, pwede, pwede po yan. Okay, we also have our early ch childhood care education. Actually, every other year ito, pero um, we are yet to confirm by September 2024 if they'll be opening again. Kasi very in-demand po talaga ang ECCE, not just in, in the Northwest region, but across Canada. Okay? So, uh, abangan po natin yan. Um, please book your consult consultation with um, VCI. So, ito ang pretty sure talaga tayo, no? Our social service worker will be open for September 2024. So, ito, it has a big, it has a wide, um, uh, what you call it, yung uh, mas broad ang kanyang mga job opportunities din dito, no? So, eligible ang nurses, teachers, or anyone with human service experience, pwede pwede sa social service worker. Now, our West Coast Culinary, it's a two-year program. By the way, we accept four-year high school graduate, no? So, yung mga old curriculum na four years sa high school, pwede pwede po sa West Coast Culinary. It is offered every fall. Ang, ang start ng intake is every August, okay? And it's a paid internship. And just so you know, culinary po is in demand industry in Canada. And we also have our engineering one-year certificates, yung mga K-12 graduates natin, yung graduate lang, no? Or graduate pa lang. Um, pwede, pwede kayo dito because it has university pathway. And we also have our um, university credit program, Associate of Arts and Science. Ayan, so definitely yung mga K-12 graduate na to, um, if in the event, in the future, you want to have um, university degree uh, and you have completed an Associate of Arts or Science program at Coast Mountain College, then um, you'll be taking just two more years and then you will get a four-year bachelor's degree in Canada. So, ito yung Ami incoming student this coming fall 2023, si Nico. Um, he just graduated last June, no, and he'll be taking the associate degree in science. Ayan. So, okay, um, we also have our field school or parang summer school sa Pinas. So, for two weeks, you will go out of your classroom and depend sa program your location, yo, you will have fun and at the same time, you will gain credit. And this is our youngest student na pumasok sa Coast Mountain College. So this is Mom Maria. Uh, she was 48 years old back then, no? Uh, she was an elementary teacher back in summer. And right now, she's just waiting for her pre, uh, PR approval. And um and all of the family members are already there, no? Sama-sama na sila doon. So, ito nang highlight, why choose Coast Mountain College? Of course, under VCI, you won't have to pay a you won't you won't have to pay the application fee the non-refundable application fee of 100 canadian dollars so book your consultation um with vci and also we don't require ielts if you are a college graduate or k-12 graduates in some cases no we um we also waive you my first two years of college so long you have completed your six credits of math and English. Uh, as I've mentioned kanina, no, over and over again, that um, we have job opportunities, okay? Even the spouses or partners of our um, students, no, wala pa silang one month sa area, they already have jobs. Because one of the factor that uh, an international student should consider is yung job opportunities. Do we have part-time jobs? Pag pumasok ba kami, um, sa school or pag or if we should we decide to choose northwest region how about our spouses and partners meron bang trabaho for them just in case we will be bringing them with us Ganyan. minimum hourly wage is 16.75 you know what this is just as of june 1st last year it was 15.65 and currently 
it's 16.75 so i think with the trend it increases annually no every year and uh, this is just the minimum we have students who have who are earning more than the minimum wage no minimum hourly wage sa kanilang part-time jobs and all of our programs are pgwp eligible okay low cost or affordable cost of living um if you want to bring your children with you uh we have um elementary um high school yon, high school and that they can um education for up until k-12 is is free no for your kids uh great outer adventure so if you love nature if if um if you are familiar with Aurora Borealis, nagpapakidit, nagpapakita din siya sa aming region, no? Um, when I went there last February, no winter, um, di ko nabuta, no? But it, it, the, the Aurora Borealis um, was seen March and April, ayan. And um, so if you are into biking, hiking, climbing, you know, mount, trekking, Ayan. So this is something na kung, kung, if you want to be away from busy city life, away from traffic, and you just don't want and you just want to focus on your um, work, school, and family, ayan, choose Coast Morning College. And of course, we are one of the lowest tuition rates in BC. So again, no IL style for K-12 graduates in um college graduates so the initial deposit that we are only requiring is seven thousand eight hundred that already includes the first cent tuition fee and temporary insurance from guardian so um the remaining of the tuition fee will be paid at the start of the second semester so to know more about the details of our admissions process again book your consultation with vci we also have our on-campus housing. It was the main campus at Terrace. So it's only $600 for, uh, per month. And uh, everything is provided. No, You will only provide your food and your laundry, your liquid detergent. So sa ibang school, I think may bayad ang laundry. No? But sa Coast Mountain College, free pa siya. So uh, take advantage. It's, it's, a new, it's, it's a very brand new um, three-story student housing. No? Um, but of course, if you will be bringing your spouses with you, spouse or partners with you, um, or your family, we have um, on-campus housing. No? We, our housing coordinator is an alumni, si Anjo. Um, so, he's a Filipino. So, um, he will be assisting you in providing recommendations for accommodations no? sa downtown area. And this is some photos of where our students are having their part-time jobs so ipa sa retail shops uh sa hotels restaurants fast food chains ayan so mahirap ba maghanap ng part-time job um based sa mga estudyante natin hindi naman po because if you go downtown uh continuously hiring ang Tim Hortons, McDonald's ayan so ANW yung yung Walmart so Wag lang po tayo mapili at um um and we'll be able to uh, get our part-time jobs. So international program fee per year ranges from fifteen thousand to twenty-one thousand. So um of course subject to change, and uh, I think it's still one of the the lowest um rates in BC Paret. Okay, so. Most of our programs are two-year program kasi equivalent po ng two-year program is a three-year post-graduation work permit. So we all know naman that our end goal is to become a permanent resident of Canada. So in the span of three years work permit, our students um, are able to apply for their PR on their second year. So good enough talaga siya, no? The three years work permit, PGWP is just enough to um to to apply for their PR um yeah PR application. Pag one year program, it's equivalent to one year work permit, post graduation work permit. So I would highly suggest if this is really your goal, 
your your end goal then um opt for our two-year program so again our uh, minimum hourly wage is 16.75 20 hours per week kapag full-time but if it's like this summer break ayan unlimited hours po tayo dyan. and this is also the perfect time where our students are um saving up for their tuition fee for their last year kasi nga no unlimited your hours nila and then they're earning more than the minimum wage so perfect time talaga to save up and our students um you might say na um nako ana host mountain college baka ano yan remote naman diyan malayo uh, we are located in a non metropolitan area um but what i can say is that um you know if if your short term goal talaga is uh, you know to to be in canada and live and work the perfect um pathway talaga is to become a student okay and our and our students uh i'm not hearing any negative feedback pa naman they're loving the environment alam nyo, most of them are city person no? but when they went here they appreciate yung beauty the nature yung simplicity ng life yung yeah i guess nakakaipon talaga sila kasi there's nothing much to spend okay while in the city syempre um expect that high cost of living medyo mas higher ang tuition fee job opportunity syempre kapag city we all know medyo tough talaga ang competition diyan okay so um and talaga nakakaipon ang mga students natin okay so uh we also have our free tutor so if you're having difficulty with your assignment especially sa math homework nyo essay writing we have our learning assistant specialist to help you out um and this is march um you can check get check her sa sa youtube channel um si march po uh completed her program in 2021 uh she she had her part-time job sa a w restaurant and then nung na-complete niya yung kanyang um, program sa Coast Mountain College, inabsorb siya ni ANW as a, as a supervisor. And, and last year, no, nag-work na po siya ng full-time sa BC services, sa government. And at the same time, nagpa-part-time pa rin po siya. Okay? So, so um, naman is uh, our um, testimony of our uh just graduated no si, si Jasper sa Prince Rupert naman ito and these are photos ng ating mga students na na graduate uh, i i i haven't posted yung sa Smithers but um yeah so pinakamaraming estudyante natin sa Terrace campus so uh nakakatuwa ano as i've mentioned the Filipino community is growing um Itong mga students natin na to, no, um, because they fell in love sa, sa Northwest region and, and the city where they're in, uh, they were able to refer their relatives, their friends. Ayan, um, this coming fall 2023 intake, meron tayong mag, magnanay, no? Mano magiging estudyante, but a different program naman silang dalawa. So, yeah. All right, so I think that's it. Um, thank you again, uh, VCI, for allowing us to uh, present Coast Mountain College. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Anna. So, Miss Anna, actually, napakadami pala talagang mga Pilipinong studyante dyan sa Canada, no? dyan sa Coast Mountain College. And I hope yung mga nanonood, yung mga viewers natin, baka may mga questions po kayo, pwede po tayong mag-comment sa comment section para po masagot din po ni, ni uh, Miss Anna. So, meron din tayo dito, actually, nakita ko to, unong-unong siya nakita. 
si Miss Melody Mendoza Mandagan. Hello, Miss Melody. Good afternoon po. So sabi niya, interested with early childhood education or ECCE. I'm a teacher with experience. Nako, eligible na eligible po kayo, Miss Melody. Yes, Sab definitely. Sabi nga po ni Miss Anna, di ba, ito yung one of the popular programs here in the Philippines, yung early childhood. So, kung interested po talaga kayo, you can uh, message us para po makonsult namin, matingnan natin kung eligible po kayo. Free naman po ang consultation at assessment. Para din po, if ever na may question din kayo dito sa Cost Mountain College, you can comment down below para po ma-accommodate kayo ni Miss Anna. And then... Ano sabi? No sounds po, mga madam. Wala po ba akong sounds or meron? <laughs> Hello? I can hear you. Okay, okay. O, yun. Baka medyo nahina lang yung kanyang internet connection. Well, anyway, no, Miss Anna, um, regarding po, gusto ko lang itanong din regarding dun sa IELTS. Kasi actually, marami kaming mga uh, clients din na hindi lang din naman Pilipino. So, ibang mga nationalities. So, is it okay? Uh, is it uh, no IELTS din pa? Or kailangan talaga nila ng IELTS? Or there's another method ba like yung medium of, of instruction na pwede nilang ibigay instead of IELTS? Yes. Um, so, uh, the, the no IELTS um, is only eligible for our Philippine passport, no? for our mm -hmm. Philippine students who have uh, completed their bachelor's degree here in the Philippines or who have completed their K-12. Um, for non-Filipino um, students, uh, meron tayong a list sa ating website ng mga English tests uh, that they can um, that they can take. Yes. And iba-iba kasi yung process per region. So, yeah, it's okay. available in the website. Thank you, Miss Anna. And then we have one more question here. Okay, uh, Mr. and Miss MJ Click and Shop, is there a bursary or scholarship that students can apply? Thanks. Again, I think sa inyo po yan, Miss Anna, no? Yes, Um, we don't currently, wala tayong entry scholarship. Pero once they are enrolled to Coast Mountain College, they'll be able to um they'll be able to go to our um financial aid um link so website and we have a lot of bursaries and awards that they can choose from so long as they have uh, meet the requirements and criteria thank you miss anna meron pa po tayong isang question from Mr. Winston Gassi, at to what age po ang eligible for the school? Ayan, good question, Mr. Winston. So, pwede natin siyang itanong kay Ms. Anna. Ms. Anna? Yes. Um, we don't discriminate, no? Wala tayong age discrimination. Alam niyo po ang education. It's a continuous learning process. Yan. So, um, as, long as, as long as you want to learn, and uh, of course, through the help of VCI, they can um, they can check your profile, and they can help you with the program that is suitable for you. Yes, correct. And actually, napakababa ng tuition fee na meron sila. Imagine that that's twelve thousand, no? Twelve thousand Canadian dollars. So brang baba nun. Uh, marami tayong mga programs na sa iba't ibang school. Pero I think ito yung one of the lowest na ano na tuition fee na pwede natin yung offer. Excuse me. Sa mga Filipino and sa other nationalities, of course. Pero ang alam ko, Sir uh, Miss Anna, kapag ibang nationalities, is just the same din ba na tuition fee or may uh, iba yung kanilang tuition fee? Um, that's for international students. Yes. International. Pare -pare so, sorry. Yes. So, pero uh, ngayon po ba yung sa inyong um, admission fee? Nakawave po ba yun, Miss Anna, or hindi? Under, under VCI, okay, uh -huh. um, I think um, application fee is waived 
for our Filipino students. Okay, so naka-promo pa din. So that's a good news para sa ating mga Pilipino, mga OFW, sa mga uh, Pilipino na nandito sa Pilipinas na talagang gustong mag-migrate at pumunta sa, sa Canada. So ayan po, good news po, admission fee is free na po or naka-wave na siya. So malaking bagay na din yun kasi marami na rin mapupuntaan. So, di ba? Yes, correct. Pati yung sa IELTS, di ba? No IELTS na. Isa pa yung sa mga bayarin, di ba? Nainisip natin. Pero ngayon, dahil kapag uh, sa Cost Mountain tayo nag, na kumuha or nag, uh, nag-school, no? Uh, wala na tayong gagasa sa IELTS, di ba? So, pwede natin yung magkamit sa ibang fees, like yung visa fees natin. So, meron pa po ba tayong question? Ayan, meron pa tayo. Additional question, okay? Mr. Winston Gassi, what is an open work permit? Again, magandang question din yan. Baka kasi may family si Sir Winston. So actually, ang open work permit po is uh, para to sa mga family or sa asawa. Manyari, ako po ay student, uh, stud- Canadian student or international student ng Cross Mountain College. And then, kayo po ay asawa po. So pwede ko po kayo i-apply ng open work permit o spousal open work permit para po makapagtrabaho kayo, may working rights kayo full time. Kung ako po ay... Partner din. Spouse or partner? Yes. Yes. WD. Yes. Yes. So, kahit, kahit hindi yun asawa, kahit live-in partner, basta mabigyan lang natin ng nang ma-justify lang natin na talagang uh, live-in partner tayo. So, yun naman po ay lahat eh. Ma-introduce or ma-present namin sa inyo, madidiscuss namin once na nagpabook po kayo dito sa Visa Center International. So, last message, Ma'am Anna, para po sa ating mga viewers at aspiring students na gusto mag-apply or mag-enroll sa Fast Mountain College. Ayan. Yes, thank you so much, VCI, um, again, for always having Coast Mountain College. Um, alam niyo po, uh, I think what I can advise to our students talaga is that if you are very, very sure that you want to become an international student and you really want to fulfill your um, Canadian dream, you have to make sure that you are well prepared okay kasi international student it's not it's not an easy way no yung process no um but it will be beneficial in the long run so you have to be financially prepared mentally physically spirit lahat na nang li <laughs> no so um and of course with the help of VCI and Coast Mountain College, hand in hand, will be um, happy not to to help you um, reach your goals. So thank you, po, so much. And again, book your consultation with VCI. And ngayon pa lang, um, Coast Mountain College. Uh, we can't wait to welcome no our students from from VCI. So um, again, our October, uh, sorry, our January and May twenty twenty four intake. The applications for January and May 2024 applications are still available. And for those of you na um, um, preparing now for September 2024 intake, our applications will be open this coming October 2023. So ngayon pa lang, dapat meron na kayong consultation with VCI para nire ready na nila lahat. Para pagdating na October, you documents lang eh, ready to add an app to to send to Coast Mountain for evaluation. Thank you so much, PCI. Yes, thank you, Ms. Actually, meron pang last message po si Ms. MJ Click and Shop. Sabi niya, thank you, Coast Mountain College, Ms. Anna. Ayan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time and effort. Thank you for the time. Okay, hello. Good afternoon, madam. Welcome back. So, ito naman, syempre, uh, nakita na natin, di ba, kung ano yung mga meron na ino-offer ang Cost Mountain College. At nakita naman natin, napakadaming programs talaga. Napakadaming benefits kapag doon tayo nag- 
uh, nag-apply or nag-enroll sa institution nila. So anyway, marami rin naman tayong, uh, pag kunyari, no? just in case na matapos na tayo sa Coast Mountain, ano-ano pa kaya yung mga magiging benefits nila, di ba? Yun yung magandang tinatalakay natin. Siyempre, uh-huh. alam naman natin na ma- matutulungan tayo ng Coast Mountain kasi mag-aaral tayo doon, makakapagtrabaho tayo doon, madadala natin. Excuse me, nagbibinata. <laughs> Madadala natin yung pamilya natin doon, di ba? Pero ano pa ba yung afternoon? Di ba? So doon na tayo uh, papasok, doon na papasok si Ms. Rosette Ann, one of the immigration or education uh, consultant natin dito sa Visa Center International. Please welcome Ms. Rosette Ann. Hello? Asan na kaya siya? Or... <laughs> Ano? <laughs> Nilaloko mo si Ms. Rosette. Pinapakaba mo Ayan siya. Ayan din. Sigla siya natawa din dito. Ayan. <laughs> oh, wala na. Ayan. 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 So, talaga. Wala na nanood. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and then good evening din po. And then sa mga nagagandahan nating host, Ma'am Janine, and then Ma'am Apple, good afternoon po, and then uh, Ayan. <laughs> Ayan, so may iwan ko muna kayo ni Ma'am Apple regarding dyan. No? So magkakaroon tayo na, magkakaroon kayo ng one-on-one question and answer and of course sa mga comment section. So mag-comment na po kayo. Pwede nyo po na na-comment 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 Ayan. Uh, Bale, Ms. Rosette, ano po ba yung mga benefits pa for international students sa Canada? Kasi kung na mag-unod sa kanina, medyo, ano, medyo konti pa, konti pa lang yun na, yung mga benefits sa kanina ni Ms. Anna. So, natagan mo, Ms. Rosette. Ano, 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 gain extra points po kasi pointing system yung pagiging permanent doon kay uh, Canada. Halimbawa rin hindi natin abot yung points na kinakailangan, pwede rin natin isama or idagdag yung naging points natin habang nasa student visa tayo. And then ito po, uh, earning while learning. Ayun po yung allowed din si student na mag-work, kaya masusustain naman yung pangangailangan nila doon kay Canada. And then halimbawa rin po, yung student visa din kasi is uh, family migration. Halimbawa rin is isasama mo yung partner mo. Si partner is pwedeng mag-work doon unlimited number of hours. And uh, halimbawa rin po is may anak kayo. Ngayon po kasi may update din si Canada na dati po kasi is under 80 or under 19. Ngayon kasi is may update na hanggang uh, below 22 years old is pwede nyo po isama sa application nyo. And then libre po yung pag-aaral ng mga bata up to high school or hanggang grade 12 doon kay Canada. Okay po. <laughs> Ayun. May mga questions tayo dito agad-agad, Ms. Rosep. So, ayan. Magkano po ang kailangang i-ready pag mag-apply po ng student visa sa Canada? Yung kasama na po ba ang human? Yung kasama na po ang human? Ayan. Ayan. If ever po kasi, depende po kasi. Hello? Ayan. If ever po kasi, depende siya sa uh, isasama natin. If ever, napaparami po kasi isasama natin sa application, papadagdag din yun sa may proof of funds. Ang kailangan mm-hmm. naman, hindi naman po kailangan agad na pang uh, one-year tuition fee ang ba- agad nating babayaran. Yung iba po is nasa may bank account natin. Yun naman po is hindi naman siya uh, lahat gastos doon. Pera nyo pa rin naman yun. Yun lang din yung ipapakita natin kay visa officer na kaya nyo talagang mamuhay and then mag-aral po doon kay Canada. Pero kung gusto nyo rin pong malaman yung mga uh, mga lahat ng detalye is magpabook na po kayo sa aming cons- uh, free consultation. Okay. So, later on, ipapakita namin yung number ni Ms. Reset Ann. Pwede niyo po siyang screenshot or uh, save na po para matawagan or may WhatsApp po ba kayo doon sa number? Yes, ma'am. Meron. 
naman. So, pwede rin nyo rin po siyang i-WhatsApp or i-email para uh, schedule niya po kayo ng free consultation and assessment. So, yun. May additional questions? Pwede po bang mag-apply ng student visa kahit ang student graduate? Ayan, napakagandang tanong yan. Kasi marami rin po talaga na, halimbawa yung mga client natin, andito sa Pilipinas and then high school graduate sila. Yes po, pwedeng pwede. Kasi may mga schools naman po kay Canada na kahit high school grad or college level tayo dito sa Pilipinas, is open din sila. Kaya ah, yung mga high school grad or mga college girls, is ah, magpabukom na kayo ng consultation po para ah, makarating na rin kayo doon kay Canada. <laughs> Mm -mm. At saka, um, ano to, advantage ng mga gusto pang mag-continue ng study. Kasi yes, alam naman natin before, yung mga nanay natin, ganun, or mga kuya atin na hindi natapos yung study nila dahil nga, syempre, hindi lahat is kaya mag-aral before. So, eto na yung right time na makapag-continue sila ng study nila. And sa Canada pa, di ba? Yes, ma'am. So, <laughs> Ang ganda, sobrang ganda sa Canada. <laughs> sobrang ganda. So, yun. Um, I-share na natin ang iyong ano, number and email para makita nila. Ayan. Ma, may isang question pa po. <laughs> Asan ba? Ayan, para masagot natin lahat yun. <laughs> Sige, ito muna. Ayan. Si Sir Ranson Havines, anong edad po pwede para sa student visa? So ano yung pinakamanda nating clients na nag-grant for student visa, Ms. Rosen? Ngayon, ma'am, ang pinaka-latest natin granted is nasa 52 years old siya. Hmm, Ayun. Tama. Kaya, yun po kasi ma'am, ano, yung student visa kasi wala naman siyang age limit. As long as maja-justify niyo nga po kung ano pa, uh, kung bakit pa kayo mag-aaral doon kay Canada, kung ano yung magiging uh, progress niyo after niyo mag-aaral sa personal and sa karanya. Ayan siya. Ayan, meron pang isa. Si Miss Cherry Bell Dayag. Um, ma'am, same din po ba kayo ng offer sa VCI sa Bella Branch? Thank you. So, Miss Reset. <laughs> Ayun. Yes po, same lang din kasi ano rin naman namin siya, branch din po namin. May mga iba't ibang branch po kami dito sa Pilipinas and then sa Dubai branch din po namin. Is meron din kami. Ayun, dumadami. Masa't mukhang maganda ang ating ano ngayon, discussion. Yeah. Oh. Si Miss Cherry Bell, ayan, pwede po kayong uh, bumisita sa office namin kung malapit man kayo sa Isabella branch. Located lang po siya sa Santiago, sa Malvar po. Ayan. Ayan, may question pa ulit yung Apple. Later on, i, uh, ano natin, ibibigay natin yung exact location natin sa yes. uh, branches. So, ito naman kay Miss Justine. Ma'am, pwede po ba yung kakagraduate ng K-12? Pwede na po ba, kay, pwede na po ba ako mag-apply agad? Ayan, napakaganda pa nung din. Yes po, pwede, pwede ma'am Justine. Kasi yung magiging course din naman natin doon is i-relate lang natin sa tinapos or kaya sa work experience kung ano din yung mas latest. Kaya tamang-tama nga rin po yun kasi uh, mas uh, maja-justify nyo din kung bakit yun, uh, yun din yung kukuha ninyong course. And maganda rin yun kasi um, i-upgrade natin yung ating napag-aralan sa yes, Pilipinas. Diba? At siya po internationally yun. So, kahit saan siya pumunta ang country, maaari recognize yun. Punin niyang course kapag natapos niya. Yan, dumadami na talaga. Baka mukhang mag-OT tayo dito, ha? <laughs> Sige. Isa pa po, si Sir Winston. Ayan, may additional questions. Is there interview for student visa? Ayan. Nice question. Ayan. Bali dito po, wala po tayong interview sa embassy. Hindi po siya kagaya ng mga tourist visa. Dito po kasi more on documents tayo or yung tinatawag dito na SOP or yung statement of purpose. Nakapaloob po kasi doon kung bakit uh, kung bakit kayo mag-aaral kay Canada, ano nga po yung ex, uh, intention nyo doon para magpunta kayo doon, mga ganun po. And then, ikagayad naman po kayo ni processing officer din para dyan. And then, oh, the yun. best ang mga processing officer natin yes, with regards po. sa pag-revise ng mga SOPs ng mga clients. Ang diba? um, Apple, ngayon nga rin, naka, ano, nakatanggap ako ng balita na may granted ako, family of course. Ah! <laughs> Tagapag-justin sila, wow. 
Tagapan kasi nan. So, baka puntahin mo dyan. Hindi <laughs> na sa kanya, ma'am. Ano, magpunta muna siya dito bago siya mag, ano, mag-flight sa Canada para ma-interview ko naman siya. Magpunta mo din naman siya in person. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ayan, napagaling naman. So, si Miss Cherry Bell, ayan, noted po. Thanks much. Ayan, welcome po. Ano, medyo. Miss Julie Rose Kaligan. Yala. Ayan. I am here in Saudi now and working as a registered midwife. Ayan. Paano po kaya ako makakapag-inquire si Tatisyon po ako this time? Ayan. Okay po. Ayan po, Ma'am uh, Julie, uh, Julie Rose. Okay lang po yun kahit nasa ang country naman kayo kasi pwede naman siyang online application or kaya yung mga relatives nyo din is andito sa Pilipinas. Pwede rin naman siya lang mag-visit kahit alin sa mga branch namin kung saan sila malapit. Okay po. Kaya wala pong problema kahit nasa other country. Ayan. Pwede na po kayong mag-inquire po kung saan man kayo nanonood po na social media account po namin. So, para maano, ma, ma balikan kayo ng mga consultants natin at, yes. at, at, at ma-schedule ano, na kayo for one-on-one -on -one assessment. Ang kagandahan kasi ng one-on-one assessment, nakakapag na kayo. Sabihan ka yung isa't isa't kasi kapag group assessment yan, medyo nahihiya yung ito. Yes. Magtanong, di ba? Encounter na natin. Kaya pag ito yung one-on-one -on -one assessment para at least focus lang siya sa profile mo. And alam niya kung ano yung magiging na program. Alay niyo po, eligible na po pala kayo for permanent residency. Na ito. Di ba? So, ano na lang po, uh, standby na lang po kayo or mag-message uh -huh. lang po kayo kung saan po kayo nanonood para mag-guide po kayo ng mga So, next, si Ms. Morales, ma'am, need sa requirements sa student visa po ba may certificate of employment pa po? Thank you. With heart, heart. <laughs> Ayan, Ms. Uh, Mitch Morales. Uh, yes po, if ever kasi ma'am, na doon natin siya i-relate, is kukuha po talaga tayo ng certificate of employment. So magiging course natin para makikita nga po kung ano yung magiging progress. Mm -mm. Tama po yan. At saka para makita din natin kung saan natin i-relay yung ating course na kukunin. So, Ms. Uh, Mitch Morales, ayan, pwede na po kayong mag-message po sa uh, any platform po sa social medias namin para ma-attendan po kayo ng mga consultant po natin. So, si Ms. Justine, ayan, salamat mo. Thank you rin po, Ma'am Justine. Ayan, meron pa. Hindi na tayo natatapos. <laughs> Ms. Melody, ayan, mandagan, yung, K, yung 12K po ay one sem tuition fee po yun. Ayan. Depende kasi siya, ma Melody, sa magiging course natin, if ever kung ano po yung magiging course. Pero yung sa meet, uh, hihingi naman po ni school is yung pang first sem lang, pero yung another sem is nasa bank. Medyo malaki ang 12,000 po in Canadian dollar yes, kung to send Miss Melody. Ayan. Pang mga masteral na yan, may kapag... <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, si Miss Abby Fede. Ayan, ilang taon po ng post-grad work permit ang makukuha kapag one year lang ang aral sa Canada? Ayan. Ito po yung post-graduation work permit. Kapag po kasi meron, ah, uh, uh, yes po. Ayan, bali kapag po kasi one-year course lang yung kinuha natin, equivalent nun is may one-year extension. Pero kapag two years course is equivalent nun is may three years extension kayo. Pero kung may plan kayo maging permanent doon, doon na kayo sa two years course kasi yun lang din po yung may points. Sa kakagandahan, sa three years extension niya na doon, is pwede nyo na siyang i-work out yung pagiging permanent niya doon. Napakahusay naman. Sasagot, Ms. Rosette. <laughs> oh, Ms. Abby, ayan. Thank you po sa question. So, dito tayo kay Ms. Uh, Sir Winston. Example po, nasa outside ng Philippines po kami. Saan kami pwede magpa-assess? Ayan. Bali, uh, Sir Winston, bibigay ko po sa inyo mamaya yung contact number ko or yung email address ko para pwede nyo akong uh, contactin doon. 
Ayan. Ay, kaya kahit nasa ang uh, aling branch naman po is pwede rin naman kayo mag-inquire. Yes. So may mga may mga clients kami. Ako mismo nasa UAE. May mga oh, clients yes. ako na nasa Pilipinas. May clients ako na nasa ibang bansa. So ganun din po ang Philippine team po natin or Philippine branch. Pwede rin po silang mag-assess ng other clients. So si Miss Julie Rose, thank you so much ma'am. Sige po, mag-personal message ako. Ayan, wait. Thank po you na. rin po. <laughs> and one-on-one -on -one assessment. Ayun. And si Sir Jeff, thank you po for information. Thank you rin po. Ayan. And may pahabol pa siya. Ayun. <laughs> Wala yung bearing kung mag-stop po ng study then mag-full-time work na po. Na lang po. Okay po ba yun? Wala po pang magiging. So, ito is yung situation niya is Nandun na siya sa Canada. Nag-gap na siya ng visa and gusto na niyang mag-time. Maybe na-absorb na, na siya ng employer na naman niya. So ano yung pwede natin i-advise dito, Ms. Reset? Ayan. Ayan, Sir Jeff. Mas maganda po kasi halimbawa kasi ang enter natin doon is uh, international student. Is mas maganda po is kung ituloy na natin yon or kaya halimbawa po nag-work kayo doon is i-balance lang natin siya. Kasi may possible po na papapag, uh, mapabalik din kayo dito sa Pilipinas if ever po na hindi nyo na kayo nag-aral uh, doon or kaya nag-work kayo doon kasi nakikita, uh, nakikita din po yon sa may system nila. Pero uh, allowed naman pong mag-work si student. Yun nga lang po is i-balance lang din natin. Ayan. And ang maganda din po doon, kapag tinuloy yung study, syempre may additional point siya for PR. Yes, okay. Kapag hindi kasi nila tinuloy, sayang naman. And <laughs> di ba po, nagbayad na sila ng 1SEM. So sayang naman po yung binayad nila sa school. Okay. Diba? Kaya ituloy niya na po, Sir Jeff. <laughs> Ayan. So, tuloy mo na <laughs> yung pag-aaral mo sa Canada. Ayan. So, si Sir Renson, ayan, thank you po sa pagsagot sa questions. Thank you rin po, Sir Renson. Ayan. Ayan. Si Sir Jeff naman, thank you po. Thank you po. Ayan. Napakadami nating mga questions ngayon, Mr. Rosette. Napakaganda yeah, no? ng ano natin, first live natin this July. <laughs> so, yan. Ito na po yung hinihintay nyo na um, contact details ni Ms. Rose, uh, Rosette Ann. Pwede nyo na pong screenshot or isave po yan. So, Ms. Rosette, paki-dictate na lang po. Para okay. Po. Bali sa lahat po ng mga gustong magpaasa sa akin, pwede nyo po akong kontakin sa aking email na rosette.ann at visacenter.international or kaya po pwede nyo akong kontakin sa number ko na plus 63- 9051864367. Ayan po. So screenshot yun na bago pa mawala. <laughs> so yun po and may isa pang nagpahabol ayan si Sir Winston. Salamat. Salamat po. Okay po. So Miss Rosa, thank you po sa pag-join sa amin ni Miss Janine po sa ating first live this uh, July. Ayan. Ayan. Thank you rin Ma'am Apple and then Ma'am Janine. <laughs> Ayun. So, mag-iisi ka na. <laughs> Bentang-bento si Ms. Rosette ngayong araw sa ating live. Nakakatuwa naman po, ano, syempre, na marami talagang nagpa-participate sa atin sa live. Kasi actually, mas maganda kasi talaga to na nagpa-participate sila agad dun sa comment section. Kasi kaagad, nasasagot natin yung mga questions nila. Diba? So, kung if ever naman po na mas gusto nyo pang palalimin, palaliman, palaliman ang inyong mga information no, na gusto nyo makuha sa amin, meron po tayong link dyan sa ating kung saan man kayo nanonood. Click nyo lang po yan and then enter nyo lang po ang inyong mga information. So, kami na po mismo ang tatawag at mag-schedule ng, ng free consultation or free assessment sa inyo. So, huwag po kayong uh, mag-alala dahil lahat po ng inyong information ay kami lang po ang nakakakita. So, yan yes. po ay private lang. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, mag mag na po kayo dun sa link para po matawagan na po namin kayo agad. Ayan, may isa pang question. Ayan, napakahaba pala nito. Pwede ba natin basahin? Sige. Ayan. <laughs> Hindi na makita. Umangad ka, Mr. Setro. <laughs> Ayan. Nasa na? Ayan, i-show mo na lang, Mama Apple, baka na-dodo. Ayan. 
Basahin mo na rin, Miss Jenny. <laughs> Ayan, ito ay galing kay Sir Mike. Ayan, Sir Mike, ang sabi niya ay, may invitation letter galing sa tita po namin and letter of visa assistance request from Mr. Kevin. Ayan, member of the House of Commons of Canada. Ano po? Ano-ano po? Mga requirements pa pong need ko. Meron na po akong certified true copy of land title under sa name ko. Bank certificate, vaccine certificate, yung business po is DPI permit pa lang po meron ako. Sa employment status po, casual employee po ako ng LGU. Nag-request na rin po ako ng travel authority, payslip, CEO. Ano pa pong need ko po? Ayan. Ay. Ang hapa niyan. Napakagandang question Pari, ang need nyo pong gawin Is mag-start na kayo ng application Total is parang kompleto na naman na din po Ang documents Ayan, yes One assessment mo na siya Miss Rosette Para ma-assessment kung saan siya mas qualified Na programs, diba? Yes So Sir Mike, mag-login na po kayo dun sa link Na caption kung saan po kayo nanonood para po matawagan na po namin kayo agad. So lahat po na yan ay ibibigay namin sa mga consultants. Mas maganda po kung kay Miss Rosette tayo mapunta no? para kaagad-agad alam niyo na po yung profile niyo kasi ano na po ang inyong mga requirements. No? Nandyan na po halos lahat. Kulang na lang application sir. So pag-message na po kayo sa Visa Center International, International kung saan po kayo nanonood na page at Kaagad po ay re-replyan namin kayo. So, Ms. Rosette, maraming maraming salamat sa iyong time. And maraming maraming salamat din sa ating mga viewers na patuloy na nagpa-participate sa atin. Thank you po. Thank you po. Nag-trust sa atin sa pag-apply or nag-apply before ng ating student visa or international student visa sa Canada kasi alam nyo ba? Alam nyo ba? Na since... April 2023, wala pa tayong refusal sa student. And mostly, nasa 30 plus ang nag-grant natin per month. Ang pinakamataas po natin is last uh, June ata, nasa 36, lahat sila yung mga nag-grant natin. So, medyo maganda-ganda ang, ano, ang mga <laughs> pagpapalakad. <laughs> Pagpapalakad na application ni Canada or maluwag sila ngayon. Ayan, Ayan po. So, 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 na wala tayong refusal until, oh, until oh, this year and the next year and the next, next year. Ayan. Naman. Ayan. Basta po na kayo lang po ay susunod sa ating mga processing officer. Ano? Kasi syempre sila po ang mas nakakaalam kung ano po ba ang dapat natin gagawin. Kung ano po ba ang dapat natin kukunin ng mga documents. So, yun po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating mga uh, students na, no? na nandyan na rin sa, mga, sa Canada. So, hopefully, sana makanood sila nito para makapag-reply sila. Masabi po nila na nandyan na sila sa ganitong school. Maraming maraming salamat. Ganyan, ganyan. And try natin. Malay nyo gusto nila makasama tayo sa live or makasama okay. sa live natin mm -hmm. baka pwede niya tayong ilibot sa kanyang school o di ba maganda so, yun so try po natin abangan natin yan sa mga susunod na mga araw okay so ay Mr. Mike ayan nag thank you so much na po siya ayan thank you so much po thank you po So, thank you, Mr. Set, sa time mo. Alam namin na busy ka. Kasi marami na pang consult. Ayan. So, si Mr. Set po is uh, immigration consultant po natin sa an branch. <laughs> I-ano na natin, i-check na natin yung branch ni Mr. Set. Ayan. So, pwede niya po siyang puntahan. Pwede niya po akong puntahan dito sa second floor. JC Ramirez Building, Maharlika Highway, San Vicente, Capan City, Nueva Ecija po. And then, pwede niyo rin po kaming kontakin sa plus 63-44331-5659. Uh, Ayan. So, yung isa kanina sa ano naman yun, sa Isabella Branch. So, eto na po yung Isabella Branch po natin. Located po siya sa third floor, Heritage Building, Santiago City, sa Malvar po yan. So you can call them po, 078-325-3594. Or visit po kayo dyan. Malapit lang po yan sa highway. 
Ayan. So, sa uh, Pampanga naman tayo kung saan nandun si Miss Janine? Yes, sa mga kabalin, mga kapampanga na nanonood. And dito po ako ngayon sa ating office na Pampanga. Located po kami ngayon sa third floor, Emerald Business Center, Dolores, San Fernando City, Pampanga. You can call us or text at plus 63-956-966-1588 or plus 63-956-201. 1669. Ayan, pwedeng pwede po kayong pumunta, mag-walk in anytime pwede. Ang pinaka main ano po natin location yung makikita niyo po yung Starbucks. Ayan, nasa likod na sa taas lang kami. Pwede po kayong mag-coffee muna bago kayo pumunta ng office. Ayan. So, meron pa tayong isa sa Philippines. Miss Rosette, ikaw na po magsabi ng isang branch natin diyan. Ayan, pero may office po kami dito sa Ang uh, bali office po is 509 City and Land Mega Plaza, Topaz Road, San Antonio, Pasig, Metro Manila. So, yung mga taga-Ortigas dyan, na malapit, ayan, pwede nyo pong bisitahin ang aming uh, office po dyan po sa Ortigas. And syempre, yung nag-iisang branch po natin, main branch, main office dito po sa UAE. So, you can visit us po. Nandito po ako ngayon sa Dubai. So, 101 NBQ Building, Bank Street, Dubur, Dubai, ayan, Burjuman. So, you can call us po at plus 04-26-433-66. Or you can WhatsApp us po, ma uh, ma'am and sir, sa plus 971-54-793-5026. Para mabook po namin kayo ng appointment or kung gusto nyo pong mag-visit para ma-ano na namin, ma-schedule na po namin kayo. So yun, maraming maraming salamat Miss Janine and Miss Rosette sa time niyo po today. Napaka-productive ng first live natin. Yes, meron pa. May last comment pa. Ayan, wait lang. Basahin ko na din. Kay Sir Mon, ay, Manolito Domingo. Miss Rosette, NE po ako, pero nasa, uh, nasa Saudi. So Nueva Ecija lang siya, sir. Ang lapit niyo lang po, ang lapit lang po ng... ng ng office natin dyan sa Nueva Ecija. Meron tayo dyan sa Gapana, kung saan nandyan po si Miss Rosette. So, kung yes. family nyo po, nandoon, pwede nyo pong ipavisit dyan sa, sa ating office sa Nueva Ecija. Kasi ang, ang ating process naman, kahit nasa ibang bansa po kayo at yung consultant nyo nandito sa Philippines, walang problema dahil through online naman po ang process. Okay, so if ever naman po para makita lang din niya yung office at makita niyo po ang kagandahan ni Miss Rosette. Ayan, <laughs> nandyan po tayo sa Gapan. Okay, message lang po kaya Sir Manolito Domingo. Thank you so much. So maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng viewers, commenters natin na patuloy sumusu na sumusuporta sa Visa Center International. Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. At patuloy pa rin po kaming tutulong sa lahat ng mga aspiring Uh, Canadian or Australian student. No? So, message lang po kayo and pasis lang po kayo sa amin. Libreng-libre lang po yan. Maraming salamat, Mama Paul. Ayun. So, ito na yung right time. Ayan. Or para kung gusto nyo naman po or hindi naman po kayo nagmamadali, right time pa rin to. Kasi yung application nyo po sa amin is no expiration. Anytime po pwede nyo pong i-continue. Anytime pwede nyo pong i-hold kung meron mang mga emergencies na kailangan unahin. That's fine po kasi nasa contract. Siyempre may kontrata po tayo na pipirmahan just in case po na mag-start tayo ng application with us. And nandun po yung mga um, kailangan like no, ano, no expiration sa application and you can transfer it once. So, for example naman, ayaw nyo na pong ituloy or i-continue, may iba na kayong plan. You can transfer it to your relatives. So, sila na yung magtutuloy ng application po para sa inyo. Kasi sayang naman po yung application nyo sa amin just in case. So, yun lang po. Thank you, Miss Janine and Miss Rosette. Till next live. <laughs> Ayan. Kailan ba yung next live natin? Maybe next week ulit, no? Yes, next week ulit ng Wednesday. So, abangan nyo naman po. Kung ngayon ay kani Canada Institution, sa next week, Australia naman po. So, Australian Institution. At abangan natin kung anong school ba yan. So, yan naman si Australia yung magiging guest natin dyan. Eh, isa rin yan sa mga patok dito sa Pilipinas na mga school sa Australia. So, abangan nyo po yan mga sir, mga ma'am. Uh, lahat po tayo, syempre, eh, uh, mag-aabang din dahil kami rin po ay 
ano, hindi pa namin sure kung sino yung guest natin diyan pero meron na kaming naririnig na school. So, yung guest speaker lang. Ayan. And syempre, so, hindi din magpapahuli ang ating discount this month. Oh, ayan, Miss Rosette, ikaw na magsabi para matapos na to. <laughs> <laughs> ayan, may discount po tayo ngayon. Bali, nasa 40% discount pa rin po. Ayan, sa mga gusto pong humabol, ah, uh, Kunin niyo na po yung uh, promo kasi sayang. <laughs> And then malaki po kasi siya nasa 40% discount. Oh, laki. 40%. Message niyo na po si Miss Rosette or kung saan man kayo nanonood, mag-message na lang po kayo para ma-avail niyo pa po yung aming discount this month. Kasi okay. next month ako, oh, hindi ko alam kung ano yung <laughs> discount natin or meron bang discount next month. Yeah. Opo, napakalaki na niyan, 40%. Marami na po mapupuntahan niyan sa mga ibang processing fees niyo po. No, so, avail na po kayo. Huwag po kayong uh, makakalimot na mag-login sa ating mga website na, o yung link na nandyan sa caption kung saan po kayo nanonood. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, si Sir Rom Romeo. Ayan, nag-comment pa siya isa pa. Sabi niya, sampung branch niyo. Last comment na to, mga madam and sir, ha? So, baka umabot tayo hanggang gabi. <laughs> At ang sampung branch niya dito sa Nueva Ecija, tagagapan po ako. Ayan, Miss Rosette, sampang gapan natin. Ayan, Sir Romeo. Opo. Dito lang kami, uh, sir, sa malapit po sa Goodsum Hospital. Taas po kami ng uh, GM Bank. Dito lang po sa Maharlika Highway, San Vicente, Gapan. Ayun. Yes. Along the Maramit pero naman mamit po kita personal. Ayun. Yes. Thank you for Romeo po. Ayun. Ayun. So maraming salamat po ulit and kita-kits po tayo sa next episode ng ating live uh, free webinar. So Australia naman 'yan. Makita-kita tayo po. Maraming maraming salamat. God Thank bless you all. Thank you po. Bye-bye. It was a smooth process actually, uh, even though I was able to change the uh, program eventually, but it was a smooth process. There, was, uh, there were no hassles, I can say it was like uh, cutting through butter. Very smooth and uh, uh, the staffs are very efficient, Miss Lobby, and say to you, Sir Mark, uh, job well done. Job well done. Uh, ano nang po yung mga magkasabi nyo sa mga gusto pang mga gusto mag-try na uh, dito nga po sa Canada, student party? Never too late. Uh, if you were to take me as an example, it, it's uh, never too late to learn to study and to venture out from your comfort zone. And the Visa Center can offer you such a pathway to your dreams in Canada or in Australia. And uh, I can say that uh, this is a 100% legit uh, agency. And I encourage you uh, to try and uh, uh, be one of the successful dreamers like uh, we are, we did. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Here are some benefits of becoming an international student in Canada. Apart from having an internationally recognized qualification, you can also earn part-time during study and full-time during semestral break and holidays. Your partner can work full-time during your study. You may apply for post-graduation work permit after study and stay in Canada with your family. You may include your kids in the application and they can study for free in public schools. As an international student, you can gain extra points for your PR application. You and your partner may qualify for permanent residence application during your stay in Canada. Enjoy the fantastic climate and quality of life in Canada. Know if you are eligible to immigrate. Message us now.